Hello, I'm Amanda Gore and this is the fourth part of 22nd Century Leadership. And as we've gone through, first um, part of a leader's job is to change people's behaviour, second part create an environment in which they can be the best they can be, the third to help people believe in themselves and the fourth comes from the field of positive psychology, in particular from a researcher called Barbara Fredrickson, one of the original researchers in positive psychology which is having a profound influence on how we lead people today and how we influence others. Well, in her excellent book called Positivity, um, that's your fourth book in the series to go and buy, she talks about the positivity ratio that she and another researcher have identified. Now, prior to this, John Gottman, or I should say during the same time, John Gottman is a relationship researcher at the uh, Washington University in the States, uh, Love Lab, as he calls it, his love laboratory. And he had identified in relationships that there is a critical ratio for success in personal relationships. Well, Barbara Fredrickson and her team have identified a similar ratio in the workplace. So, in the workplace, you need to have three positive comments, experiences, um, interactions to every one negative. Three to one. So, you know, that's like six to two, nine to three, etc., etc. As long as when you boil everything down, the ratio is three to one, people in the workplace will flourish. In people's normal lives, if, if they're depressed, what they discovered was that the ratio of positive to negative is one to one. It's either zero to one or one to one. Most of us living normal lives are two to one. If we want to really flourish, make the most of our lives and have very joyful lives, we've got to actively go for three positive experiences, phrases, interactions, conversations to everyone negative. So have a look at your workplace. How positive is your workplace? You know, gossip would rank as a down negative not one of the three positives. If you've got a workplace where people are fear-filled, that's a negative, it's not a positive. So go and have a very good look at your culture, the workplace, the, the, the environment that you've created, and have a look to see if it's got a ratio of roughly three to one. And if it hasn't, then you need to be doing something to increase that positivity ratio. And that, you know, the number one thing that people want in life is recognition and acknowledgement. So if you can find a way to build more and more recognition and acknowledgement, even a little thing, you know, I teach people, um, all you've got to do is look at someone and go, good job. And silly as that little symbol is, you have no idea what that does to lift people's spirits. And, and to create an environment where, where people's spirits are lifted is the sign of a 22nd century great leader. So go for it, try to work out how you can find three positives to every one negative and create three positives to every one negative in your workplace. And start off with acknowledgement and recognition. It's an easy place to start and, and it works profoundly well. So let's go to uh, personal relationships because sadly it's not three to one. In personal relationships, for you to have a great relationship that's flourishing and everything you want, it has to be five to one. So for every one negative comment in a personal relationship, there have to be, or, or experience, there have to be five positive experiences, five positive comments, five positive interactions. So I'm not sure how that fits into yours, but I have it on my fridge as a number to aim for. And, and slowly we're getting there. But do you know, funny as it sounds, putting it on your fridge or putting it on your computer or sticking it on your desk, making a note for yourself, our brains are so full of information that we can't always remember everything. So putting notes up in different places is actually a very smart idea for your brain to be able to change. So put it up on your fridge. Tell everybody in your family tonight when you go home that, guys, we're going to aim for a positivity ratio of five to one. Do this with your children. Get everybody in the family because it'll be a great thing to talk about at the dinner table. Okay, everybody, who's had five positive to one negative experience today? Or if you're sitting at the table and somebody, you know, a teenager perhaps, is starting to complain or moan and go, Ooh, say, mm -mm, would that be on our one negative side or our five positive side? Perhaps you make sure that by the time you finish dinner, everybody sits and calculates, did we have at least five positive experiences and interactions before we leave the table where we have one negative? 
So there's lots and lots of ways to explore all this and, and what I've talked about applies to parenting, it applies to leadership, it applies to teaching, it applies to everything in life. So I hope you've enjoyed them, but I bet I have a few more things that I can add, so I might just do part five. So see you soon. Have a look for the other parts. Bye.